What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Combat Corporation, your source of combat sports. I'm your host, Alex Postmaster Morrow. Today, I have a gear review on the twin special FBG VL3 training gloves. Alright folks, as always, I am incredibly excited to bring you yet another gear review as today. I have a very highly requested pair of training gloves, uh, arguably one of the most famous Muay Thai gloves on the market. These are the Twin Special FBG VL3 training gloves, and I'm really excited to do this review because I've had these gloves for a while, but honestly, uh, in moving as of late, I moved about a month ago into my house and I made this setup and I was sitting there thinking, uh, as I was putting stuff back in the shelves, I said, I haven't reviewed these yet, and they've been requested for so long, and I've used them a lot, especially over the last month, because I really wanted to give them more and more time so I can give you the best review I could. Uh, and I really uh, can't believe I haven't reviewed Twin Special yet, because like I said, besides Fairtex, I'd argue Twin Special is probably the number one, if not number two, Muay Thai brand in the world. I think a lot of other people would tend to agree because everywhere you go, as far as Muay Thai gyms go, or kickboxing, or even professional boxers uh, and boxing in general, use Twin Special. I mean, I, I know uh, I was looking back at it and I saw a video of Manny Pacquiao sparring in Twin Special uh, boxing gloves that had uh, a Spider-Man design on it, so they were an FBG VL3, which I'll go into the difference in a second. Then guys like Alistair Overeem, Max Holloway used them for a period of time. Uh, you know, Sanchai before his Yokao deal, and then on top of it, Bukao and a bunch of other guys in Thai. And on top of it, I'm pretty sure the official Thai glove of Lumpini Stadium in Thailand is Twin Special, as, as well as a ton of other uh, fight promotions in Thailand. And in fact, in the United States, I've been to some shows that use Twin Special fight gloves as well. Uh, but in that case, Twin Special is very well known. Uh, they've been established since 1992, and uh, they, I guess, I wouldn't say controversy, but when they started out, a lot of people thought that they were just kind of a knockoff of Windy because they had the very same size as Windy, but the cool thing about, uh, and what difference is uh, between Windy and this uh, glove here and Twin Special is that Twin Special basically took the Windy design and made it a much smaller and puffier glove. The padding composition is definitely much different from Windy in my opinion. Uh, the leather's a bit different. Uh, and then on top of it, you have a bunch of different designs that come with it. And overall, it's just a smaller and stockier glove, like I said, uh, compared to uh, the Windy gloves, which are more angled towards the um, Netherlands and Dutch kickboxing and a lot more traditional kickboxers than they used to be when they started out in the late 60s. Uh, but when we talk about or it might have been 50s. I can't remember the exact date for Wendy. I apologize if I got that wrong. I know I've had it right in the past. I can't keep all the knowledge, guys. But basically, with uh, Twin Special, a ton of people use these, and they're trusted by athletes around the world. Uh, and almost every gym I've been to, I see someone using Twin Special. They're a very good all-round glove for uh, any type of sport. Like I said, between professional boxers, kickboxers, MMA fighters use these a lot. Uh, they are well trusted and they're very well made. And uh, the BGVL3 has been their model for a very long time. That's like their standard model. That's like the Muay Thai glove, in my opinion. That's one of the Muay Thai gloves. I'd say the Muay Thai glove above all everyone's used is the Fairtex BGV1. This is basically their BGV1. Um, the BGVL3 is Twins mainstay. Now, this is the F BGVL3, and I know what you're probably thinking. Well, what's the difference? The F stands for fancy. So, if you go to BGVL3 on Twins website, you can see they have a bunch of stock generic colors, like red, black, blue, white they also have uh you know like uh what is it i saw earlier lavender lime green olive colors uh pink 
bright yellow, silver, gold. They have a bunch of solid colors. That's just the BGVL3. That's like their stock color. Although they have a ton of different colors you can choose from, and they range anywhere from sizes from eight all the way up to 16 or 18 ounces. Whereas the FBGVL3 is the fancy model. And what like I have here, this is the FBGVL3. And um, basically the FBGVL3, like I said, stands for fancy, and they have different designs. And they have a bunch of different designs in different lines that they've made. Like mine is number 36. I got this off Nak Moy, uh, Muay Thai, um, Nak Moy Wholesale, I think about three or four years ago now. And I got number 36. And as you can see, this has like a dragon material. And there were a couple different colors I could choose from at the time. There was orange, yellow, red, and black, I believe, of this specific design. And the cool thing about the fancy is that all of these are hand painted, right? And you can actually see some of the natural paint kind of chipping off. And when you put your hand over it, you can actually feel the paint. Uh, like dried onto the glove itself. Now the whole glove itself is orange, but all the paint on top of this, someone did this by hand, which is absolutely crazy. Uh, I'd like to believe that anyway. It could be somewhat, you know, stretched. But for me, this is a really, really cool design. Uh, someone did this by hand, and it's definitely more of a hand painted style. It's not screen printed. Screen printed usually wouldn't just fade away like that. Or even if it was like a sticker print, it would fade away. But in this case, I think the only thing screen printed on this is the Twin Special Glove uh, logo right here. But overall, very cool design. So if you want any type of difference between uh, your glove, between FBGVL3 and the regular BGVL3, it's just the design. And it might cost a little bit more because of the design. Like I think the stock model of the BGVL3 goes for anywhere from 60 to 80 bucks depending on where you buy it from when i bought these from Nakmoy, they were 110 dollars so uh yeah, that's really what you're paying for is the design and obviously orange is my favorite color and i love dragons so this is cool and if you caught on to that joke haha -ha. anyway but let's go ahead and go into the uh look of the glove itself not look yeah my fault my model of the glove which is once again the fbg vl3 uh, training glove and this is in 16 ounces this is the 36 model of the fancy training glove series uh, and on top of it uh, you can get them and uh, at the time I think they sold a couple lace-ups but usually what you get is in hook and loop and you can get the stock colors the regular BGVL3 in lace-up a lot easier uh, and there's tons of different fancy models that you can choose from so don't think you're limited to just dragons I know the favorite one that I see most people use is the Flames. Those are really cool gloves. Uh, you know, Flames make you uh, go faster too. But um, not only that, but there's a ton of different ones uh, on their website you can look and they actually give you links of where to go buy them. Cool thing about Twin Special is they know that there's a lot of people that make fake Twin Special gear. So they actually on their website tell you where they wholesale through and who to buy it from and who not to buy it from. And they tell you where you'll get the things from. Uh, you can also export it right from Twin Special from different retailers. Or you can go like I do on Nakmoy Wholesale. I really like Nakmoy Wholesale. They do a really good job. And it's right from Thailand where they ship it from. So which is really cool. But now let's go into the look of the glove and let's talk about the... Uh, back of the glove, like I said, the whole glove is made out of solid orange except for the palm, which is black. But let's look at the design. First off, we have the twin special logo right here with the five stars going on there. Is that five? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, it is. So you got twin special in red, and the S is uh, outlined in white and black lettering. And then once we come to the artwork, you can see that the dragon uh, here, here's the head of the dragon. You got the eye hole there. Uh, you got the hairs on the back of his head as well as the spikes going down here with the fangs as well as the tongue and the neck drapes all the way around the glove to the claw right up here. And you also have a claw right here that's about to come down and palm basically onto the twin special logo. And you get the claw that's going all the way throughout here as well as the tail that goes down here as well. And then you got the back spikes here. So you have this really cool design here. And then you also have some gray splotches here on the side and it says twin special. So like I said, the whole thing is made of orange leather here. Whereas here you can see the stars going down in gray so the gray is actually painted in the shape so the orange looks like it's painted in orange but it's really actually the gray making the outline where it says twins special and you have the same exact design here on the right glove as you did with the left you can see the claw about the palm down here you can see the head of the dragon here 
same thing here, another claw, everything else, right to the thumb. Then when we get to the palm, like I said, you can see that we have a completely black palm with some air holes here with orange piping for the palm. And then the thumb attachment is a web thumb attachment that's also orange, which also tells you that the whole thing is composed of orange leather, as, as you can see right there. Then we come down to the wrist strap. Not only do we have the orange piping down here that uh, adorns the top up here really well, we also have the Twins Special logo down here with three stars on each side, and it says twinspecial.com right there and the nice cloth pads that they have here. I think the top is a, yeah, copyright logo that you can see right there. And then this also says handmade, twin special, first quality, genuine Thailand leather, which is really cool here. And that's basically every Thai brand has to tell you, hey, this was made in Thailand. Uh, but overall, the glove looks amazing. I mean, I mean, all the different fancy models that you can go look at, they're all cool. A bunch of them revolve around dragons. This was my favorite dragon design, which is why I got it. But they have a lot of cool gilded dragons with the scales and stuff too that you might like. I like more of the, like, um, I, I don't know if this is incorrect to say, it's more of like the Chinese dragon type of look, you know, the very skinny and thin one with the, all the swerves, or Japanese dragon. It kind of looks like Shenron to me, I'll word it that way. Um, but I'm not too up to date on uh, Asian culture and dragons, unfortunately. But when we come to um, the build of the glove and the design of how it's made, we can talk about the outer shell, the whole glove being made out of a very nice, high quality top grain leather, which is a cowhide. And we have a pretty decent thickness here over the leather, which I've explained time and time again, but I, I've been tending to explain a little bit more. The thicker the hide, the less damage the padding gets, and the less water soaks into the glove from the outside, the less likely it is to crack, and it also holds the stitching in a lot easier because of how thick the leather is. Doesn't have less material to go through, so therefore seams tend not to pop out. Like I said, I've had these gloves for about four years and there are no seams popping out. So they are very well made. You can even see how thick of leather that we have over the thumb right here. That's basically the whole thumb part just came right off of the padding, which is cool. If it was stretched too tightly, the padding would be smushed down all the time. It would be a very tight glove, probably a tight fit as well. Um, but it has very nice top grain leather. You can also get these in a synthetic leather version. So if you're vegan and maybe you just don't like using leather products, you can get a synthetic leather. I think they're under BGVL3 PU gloves and those are made out of a synthetic material. Uh, you can get those in lace up as well as you can these, which is cool. But this is a leather product. When we talk about the padding on the inside, uh, they even say on the website that it's all handmade and hand molded specifically for you uh, is what they say on top of it. But really what it is, it's just, uh, as you can see here, if I push in, you can see how soft it is and how much that creases the whole back. It's multi-layered, high-density foam, open cell padding. So the open cell basically means when you go, it's able to breathe, air can get in and out very well. It's the same type of padding. A lot of people call it Japanese foam. Uh, it's the same type of padding that brands like Winning use or Top Boxer will use for their Win One. It's a very soft foam meant for protecting your hands and your knuckles. That's basically the idea. So you have have high density multi-layered foams uh, and it definitely if you took the whole sheath of the leather itself off the whole outer shell it would be in one solid piece so they glued multiple pieces of uh, foam together to form that it's a very thick um, foam that goes throughout it and you can actually see that it comes down here and cradles your knuckles very well uh, it's all the way down to the wrist cuff right here that protects you as well but when we go down to the wrist strap, as you can see, there virtually is no padding here. There's no material other than the leather that keeps it on your hand. And that's the idea behind most tie gloves. So you can curl your wrist for good tie grips and, and say and you're in your plum grip. Maybe some people don't know when you grab your plum grip or some people do it this way. You want to curl your wrist in and down so their head can go. It's very easy to grapple if you can move your wrist a lot easier. That's why wrist control and wrestling is so important because you can't really do a whole lot if this is locked down then you got your hands useless on top of it and then this part of your arm somehow is useless too so you really want good wrist control when it comes to a muay thai glove twin special has you covered there the thumbs in a very nice shape and it provides a very natural thumb position uh there's tons of room in it it's a very fat thumb and like most thai gloves it's on the side of it more like i said so you can open it and close like this and really get a nice grip um, but it still puts your thumb in a very natural position when you close your fist. The grip bar on the inside here 
is very soft. Feels like it's made out of the same high density leather that you have here. Uh, and then on top of it, you also have a nice high density um, piece of foam here on the side for drilling. So if someone goes to kick you or punch you, now you got a little bit of boop, now you can catch it pretty well. The rest of the uh, palm is not padded at all. It is just basically leather. And then you have a few breathe holes here on the inside. You got four right in the center there. There's four or five holes in the center. Uh, the Velcro strap is very short, which um, basically short Velcro straps don't always speak for the best wrist control or wrist support, I should say. But in this case, Twin Special does a pretty good job. And on top of it, the interior lining, like most high gloves, have leather at the base, as you can see here. It's a leather material right there. But on the side of it and going on the inside, it is all made of just a basic uh, poly nylon type of lining that you get in most boxing gloves. It doesn't feel like a cotton, it feels more like a nylon tarp type lining. And it's not too bad, but it is kind of baggy compared to some other gloves. And every now and again, you gotta push uh, the grip bar feeling away. Uh, like I, one of my big pet peeves is when the grip bar spot in the inside of the hand compartment is like kind of bare and you can feel that a little bit on the inside but honestly your fingers go pretty deep in these so you don't feel it too much and it doesn't bother you and if you wear hand wraps it does a pretty good job on top of it there's actually a decent amount of room on the inside here let me strap this tight decent amount of room on the inside of the glove but you can see how puffy this glove is and like i said there's not really a whole lot of wrist support down here, but it is good to boom, 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 and I can start curling and going like that. What the glove does do, because of the padding on the back, is when I punch, it prevents my hand from going back any, but going down, eh, not as much, but the padding is actually pretty good on the back, so that will support you pretty good. It's also very uh, smooth to go side to side. So I would just say maybe wrap your wrist up a little bit more if you wear these gloves because the wrist support isn't that great, but I can't fault tie gloves too much for that because that's just the design of most of them. The knuckle padding is really good. I can't feel my knuckles at all. That's why you see some professional boxers using twins because just uh, how padded that they are. Very easy to open and close. Obviously, they're tie gloves, so you can get very good tie grips on the back of the arm back of the neck very easy you can parry off really well and you can catch punches very easy but like I said there is virtually no padding on the inside here so that ain't great but you have the padding here on the side like that which feels really good overall it's a pretty flexible glove uh, like I said there's just not a whole ton of wrist support uh, but if you wrap your hands pretty good it doesn't do that bad of a job like I said that's just the tie glove design the other thing too is that there's a good amount of room in here to put really big hand wraps on and that's also good for professional boxers too because obviously professional boxers tend to wrap their hand really big because that's all they're doing is punching uh, i know tie fighters usually just uh will just use a small amount of layers that i've seen and mma fighters sometimes they see just don't use wraps at all which i don't know why but that's um basically the glove breakdown itself let's go ahead and go into the bag work and mitt work and then we'll go into my final thoughts. So when you hit the bag with these, the first thing you're gonna notice is that uh, the padding on the knuckles is really the shining point of these gloves. The wrist support could be better, as I mentioned earlier, but you get really good grips with these because of how open the glove gets. Uh, they definitely are big enough to protect your head really well. And on top of it, uh, they're so puffy that they really cradle your knuckles in such a nice way. They're so light on your hands as well, so it doesn't feel like you have a whole awful lot uh, going uh, on your hands. You can let your hands fly. Uh, they're small enough to where you can really uh, get in between uh, for grips and they're also padded enough to where you're going to be set as far as knuckle padding goes. Overall, they're awesome on the bag and pads. So when it comes to the look of the gloves, the first thing that's going to pop out is that big twin special logo and it just looks awesome. And on top of it, the dragon really pops out and you can really see some cool designs. Uh, I know some people actually saw the, the little marks around the the gloves and they always stop to say what's on that and then they see the dragon fangs and they think it's the coolest glove ever so overall twin special has some awesome designs and i think you'll really enjoy getting punched in the face by the dragon itself all right folks so my final verdict on the twin special training gloves is the fbgvl or the bgvl3 in general is a mainstay staple within the training glove world of gloves that people use whether it be any type of boxing glove conditioning glove for bag work or whatever it might be uh, or for professional fighters using them they are a very safe and sound glove to use i definitely think i would choose these over say a bgv1 just because the bgv1 for me doesn't provide nearly as much padding or wrist support as these do even though this glove doesn't have the greatest wrist support in my opinion but we'll go into that in a second but twin special has been around for a very long time and you see a ton of different fighters use them and on top of it 
when a professional boxer is using these, say, over Everlast Grant or winning, that should give you an idea as to how famous that this brand is, probably because of how it's made. It's very much a pillow style glove. It's very puffy. It's very padded for you and your partners, and it honestly feels really good on the hand. I also love that it's kind of a forward pressure glove. It's decently balanced. It's very light. Um, but you know, obviously it's going to be a little bit more top heavy if we try and balance it. You can see that all, obviously all the padding is up towards the front. It's a very top heavy glove, um, but most tie gloves are. So that's why I don't give it too much fault there in that uh, department. The one thing I will say about this is that not only do you have super nice plush padding, there's tons of room on the inside of the glove for you to wrap your hands nice and big and to do it, um, do it safely so it doesn't cramp your hand on the inside. Uh, another thing that's a really good positive of the glove is that it's not overly expensive. I mean, most of the regular BGV L3 gloves go for about $68 to $80, depending on the color that you get. And then if you get the F, which is the fancy one, you're paying for the artwork on top of it. Like I said, uh, about four years ago, I paid $110. And from what I've seen, they go the fancy models will go anywhere on Nakmoy even I've seen from. $89 to $97 to $120. So, you know, you have a bunch of different cool designs and color options to do. On top of it, you can get gloves like these anywhere from the eight to 18 ounce range. I don't see a whole lot of 18 ounce gloves, most high gloves for me, I just don't see 18 ounces. I usually see them go from eight to 16, and that's normally what you're gonna see in a tie glove market. Uh, as far as things uh, uh, that I don't like about the glove, I'd say maybe the inside hand compartment. I just wish the lining maybe wasn't so baggy. That's like a little annoying. But once you move it out of the way, it's pretty good. You gotta fidget around for a second. But I just worry about that because I, I don't want it to keep having to, you know, mess up my fingers while I'm sparring and then I have to go in and like move my finger around and then maybe I can't make a proper fist and it messes my mind up or something. I hate when that happens. That drives me nuts and these gloves do that. But I will say hitting the bag with these is really awesome. Uh, you know, I, I definitely uh, love straight punches with these are awesome just because of the forward pressure that you have with this because they're very top they're not they're not heavy gloves but they're top heavy if that makes any sense most of the weight is towards the top because of all the padding here um and that's basically what you have as far as that goes the thumb feels super good it's not too tight it doesn't give you the tightest compression fit as far as i go uh i think uh they're about the same as maybe fairtex if not a little bit smaller than fairtex but they're about right there for me with yokao as far as the hand compartment size i just say the yokao compartment for me is a little bit more comfortable but i do like the performance of the twin special uh when it comes to actually punching and on top of it like i said i can't feel my knuckles at all on the inside so if you have hand problems that's a really, really good thing. If you have hand issues, it's gonna protect your knuckles, the back of your hand very well. Like I said though, is the wrist support, I would just be careful. Although this Velcro strap is very strong, I can pull it off a little bit, unless maybe I, uh, with big hand wraps on, it's not gonna go anywhere. But maybe if I strap it even tighter, I could try, I could try it, and we can see if our hand, now it comes out. But you know, I think that's more or less because we don't have a big a ton of wraps on the inside of our hand. Our hand's very slick and oily, so we can just pull it right out. But you got tons of room for hand wraps and you got tons of room um, on the inside of the hand compartment. I just wish the wrist support, maybe just a small little splint at the bottom so you can still move because I don't need to move it back so much as I de do forward for the tie grips. I just worry someone's gonna punch it and then boop, and there you go. You know, because look at that. There's nothing here protecting my wrist at all. You have the back part of the foam here on the hand compartment itself, but that's not gonna protect too much of your wrist at the end of the day. But I mean, I also think a lot of people use these more or less for the knuckle padding. I think if you've got good proper control, I give them to an intermediate to advanced guy, uh, unless your beginner has very good fundamentals and is not gonna jar their wrist. Um, that's my big concern with that. I just wouldn't want someone to hurt their wrist using these. But if you are a tie fighter, honestly, most tie gloves are made just like this. But that's, I tell everyone this, that's what your wrist is relying on right there. So for me, it doesn't have the best wrist support, but it's very well made, very durable. I had a teammate that had a pair of twin special for well over eight years, and he finally just retired them and got a pair of Yokos. And even now he says, Yokos are great, but those twins were my favorite. And so that's the cool thing about them. They're very durable. They last a long time. I think you're all going to really like that. And overall, they're very fun to use and they look cool and they got a bunch of different options to use. Um, very good for sparring, great for mitt work and bag work, uh, great for, uh, you know, whatever it is that you might 
need to use, general fitness, uh, I would just be careful of your wrist is all at the end of the day. So if I had to give these gloves a solid rating out of 10, I'd say they get a 9 out of 10. Really, once again, that point losing is just the wrist support. I do think because they're a Thai brand, I give them a little bit of slack. And, and then, you know, the interior hand lining doesn't mess it up quite that much for me because once you fix it once, it's gone. And I think almost every glove you use on the market, unless it's incredibly stretched tight, uh, I don't know if you guys hear the thunder. There's a huge thunderstorm going outside. But unless you stretch it out tight, most compartments will be a little baggy here or there. It's just an easy fix, but it doesn't happen a lot while I'm sparring, which is good. If it happened so often while I'm using the glove, then I'd give it like an 8 or a 7 out of 10. In this case, it's just the wrist support that I don't like. Uh, I wish it was a little bit better in the wrist support area. But I think if you have knuckle issues or back of your hand issues or thumb issues, this glove is for you. It's very good for Muay Thai, very good for professional boxing, well, well boxing in general. Uh, I have a few amateurs that I give these gloves to and they work really well for them. And on top of it, they fit in your hand pretty well. I, uh, Twins is very much a brand uh, that unlike some other brands that if you get 8 through 16 ounces, 16 ounces is going to be bigger than the 14 then 12 then the 10 8 you know it's going to go down in size like that not just get smaller in the hand compartment and use less materials or padding that's not how it goes they just make the gloves smaller kind of like how combat corner or fairtex does as well uh, but overall i really like these gloves um i definitely see why a, a lot of brands are starting to steal the design of these i see why so many people use them uh over the years uh they've been around since 1992 and i think they're going to be around a lot longer so folks i hope you really enjoyed the review if you have any questions below uh, or comment below please if you have any questions i should say and on top of it message me on all my uh, social media pages instagram TikTok, whatever it is for daily content you can go check them out as well and then on top of it, uh, I love for you to like, comment, and subscribe. Above all, comment so you can tell me what you want to see next on the channel. I'll post the link in the description below where you can get these. I will try and find where you can get this exact model, though I've seen a couple online. They are going for a lot more now because they're not as ready, readily available because it's a four-year-old design. Uh, but I will try and find the exact ones. But I'll give you a couple links so you can go look at the regular BGV L3, which is the same thing as the FBGV L3, the fancy model, which I have here. Uh, overall, great pair of gloves. Uh, we're already at 6.2 thousand subscribers, guys. 100 subscribers per week since we got to 6,000, which is absolutely insane. Thank you guys so much for that. Can't believe it. Uh, we're going to keep going strong, and you guys are what makes this all possible. So please, like I said, like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell for the next video. And and I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one, everybody.